you know, I, I focus a lot on um, items for self-defense and tools and things like that, but personal physical health, if uh, you're out of shape, what good is defending your family or yourself? If you're dead because you're out of shape, how can you defend yourself for your family? Been uh, running more, walking more, trying to walk with weight like a rucksack or a pack. One of the shoes that I've liked for many years are Asics. So I just got these um, trail runners, these Asics GT 2009 trail. And you'll notice they have a, a slightly more aggressive uh, tread to be able to run on dirt or hike or walk on dirt. If you already don't have some sort of regimen where at least daily you're trying to better yourself spiritually, physically, financially, in your skills and your hobbies, start slow. I, I mean, I, I say this with all seriousness because I think for our group, our community, people who care about their lives, people who care about uh, survival, people who are constantly working on trying to have a better life for themselves, their family, their community, people who care, uh, people who have responsibility and, and good, solid values. Point is to just do something. So you don't have to go out and run a marathon on your first day. You know, run a block, run two blocks, walk a block, walk two blocks, and then tomorrow you can walk three blocks and it'll start to integrate itself into uh, your routine. And again, I can't stress for people who are defense-minded enough to at least make some effort in, in that department. You know, firearms are just tools. They say you're the weapon. I think it's important to work on that. And I, I try, I mean, I, I try to do something at least daily. So these are really uh, great shoes, Asics. I, I can't recommend them enough. There's no sponsorship or anything. I've been buying them for years. I have several pairs and I find that they have sales throughout the year. Specifically Black Friday, you can get some pretty good sales, but um, pretty good looking shoe. These are gonna be my new trail runners. They have the new uh, tread. These will be good for hiking as well. And um, I always order them one size up. So I'm almost a 12, so I'll, I'll order them in a 13. And one of the reasons I do that, and I wasn't gonna make a video on this, but I just got these. These are the Super Feet. Comfort Max. These are not made in China. These are technically made in South Korea, packaged in the United States. Superfeet is a uh, company in Washington. They have all these different types. Um, originally, I went with the Superfeet Green, and these were on a recommendation from a foot doctor. And these have been very good for walking, for running. You can kind of see that my uh, foot has molded into uh, the toes and the and the and the ball of the foot have molded into the the insole. And I've tried a lot of these different insoles. I bought them at Walmart and Costco and the super feet are really excellent. Um, they're not that thick, so I, I put them in the shoe with my insole. Uh, the size that I get is 11 and a half to 13. And you can trim them, you put your insole underneath it, the one in your sneaker, and you can trim them to uh, to fit. But these have been really good. They have uh, pretty good arch support and uh, they're, they're pretty rugged. I mean, I've ran probably 50, 60 miles, maybe more and walked a couple hundred miles in these and they still look um, like they're in excellent shape. So uh, these are the super feet green. These are just regular, but the ones I got recently are these uh, super fit run. And these are a little bit different. They have um, a carbon fiber support on the bottom for extra wear and tear. They have a really nice uh, snug fit on my feet and I, I just really love them. And, and you know, I, I don't generally make videos like this, but these have been real. I've, I've ran so far six, seven miles. I've walked several miles. Uh, so they're pretty new still. They're so excellent. I, I can't recommend them enough. I think for people who even work on their feet or walk a lot, um, you should try the Super Feet Green. You may also want to get a pair of these Super Feet Run because these actually hug the feet a little bit more. And obviously every foot is different. You know, some people, these are going to be the best shoes uh, for the best price. They were like $100. They're on sale right now. You don't have to get the trail runners, but it's kind of nice to have a little extra tread. I think I'll get a little extra wear out of them. You can see that that sticks out.
you know, maybe a quarter inch more than a regular ASIC, uh, like the Kayano is what I usually get. You can get them on sale there right now. They're a hundred dollars for the Kayanos. These trail runners are a hundred dollars. You can get this shoe, the uh, GT 2000 without the trail running. And I find that they're lightweight. They have really, all their shoes have really good padding and they fit really well. Good toe box has good space for my jacked up toes. So these are my current uh, road running shoes. These are Kayano 27s, and these have been really excellent, really great padding. Uh, the tongue is designed very well where it has padding and I don't, I don't get any irritation, I don't get any blisters. The toe box is big enough, there's mesh here to allow air to come in and uh, cool while I am running. And so I have the regular Asics um, insole in there, and then I just put these, these are the run, so you can see they're a little, um, there's a little more shape to them. This base is a little uh, more, it's got a little more material. This is supposed to be made out of carbon fiber. There's a little uh, heel bumper here or um, material to allow for a little bit more heel movement. So most people's feet bend right, you know, around the ball. And so that's where the bend point is, but I can't, feel this with my foot where the material meets the just the padding so it's um it's not super duper plush but it's like you can see there's like three layers there's this foam then there's the top um like knit layer and then there's another a piece of foam inside and then the green it's a two layer this is a little bit tougher the um foam gray foam than this green foam, but this is more, a little bit more pliant, the cup. And then it has these four little uh, supports to keep that cup stabilized. This is um, carbon fiber is much more rigid. Uh, and they're not super expensive. I mean, they are an investment. I think these are 50 or $60. And these were like 45 or 50. You know, as we age of feet, man, they really see the mileage over it ain't the years, it's the mileage, right? So um, again, I, I can't recommend these enough. These uh, run inserts and also the Super Feet Green. You can see that the run inserts are a little bit taller. Uh, they're probably a quarter inch taller on the, um, the, the shape of the heel. They also seem to have a little bit deeper of a cup in here. And I just, it feels like I'm running on a cloud basically. Like I said, I ran four and a half miles yesterday uh, with these run inserts. I normally run with just the super feet green, but on these, man, I felt good. Now I'm not, you know, maybe in another 50 or 100 miles, uh, these will flatten out and get beaten up to where they, you know, lose some of that feeling maybe sooner. But um, so far they've been excellent. Yeah, I've used a lot of insoles. This is the best one I've ever used out of maybe 10 different styles. So I'll put links to all this stuff, you know, you can find out what you need, but um, it's something worth looking at. Again, I'm not trying to lecture you. Most of the time I'm talking, I'm, <laughs> it's like I'm telling myself a reminder for myself. So don't think about it. Lace them up, hit your weights, do your push-ups, go for a walk, go for a run, start small. If uh, you haven't been doing it, you know, used to do it, get back into it. Defeat that voice in your head that tells you you can't or you won't or you shouldn't or it's too hard or there's these different excuses. You gotta fight that. You know, the, the biggest evil that we fight, most of us anyways, the biggest evil that we fight is the fight within ourselves. Again, that's a message to myself, you know. Thank you everyone, all of our current subscribers. We really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel. We, we really do appreciate it. Thanks for your support.